This bill would undo all the restrictions that were put into place to keep politicians from accepting unreported gifts. We got the details on this bill by going to the North Carolina legislature's website where it says find a bill. You plug in HB 640 right there and you hit the go button. And once you do that, it's going to take you to another page, which is House Bill 640. And here I can actually hit the addition of the bill. This is the legislator's bill, and originally it had said no public servant, legislator, or legislative employee may accept a gift from a lobbyist or lobbyist principal registered under Chapter 120C. Now then you see all of these lines that are struck through it. Well, all, all of these lines represent where they're basically just taking all of that language out of the previous ban that had been set up to prevent this sort of thing. And you get the idea. The bill basically makes it okay to accept gifts from lobbyists, something that was banned because of corruption. Now, who is exactly behind this bill? Well, this fellow is a Republican. His name is Robert Brawley from Iredell County. You can find out more about him as well on their website. He first served from 1981 to 1998. They have his picture up there. They've got his email, his phone number, all the details about his business and his occupation. But he was in the legislature before these bans were put in place. And he says the ban doesn't keep someone from breaking the law. It's about an individual's ethics. But some people disagree. Now, there's a person by the name of Jane Pinsky. She's from the North Co Carolina Coalition uh, for, uh, uh, for Lobbying and Government Reform. And uh, we spoke to her last week. And she was on the phone, and so we got a chance to talk to her about what she thinks about the legislator's bill, and this is what she had to say. My coalition was founded because we discovered in 2004 and 5 that North Carolina did one of the worst jobs of the, all of the 50 states in the country of tracking what cannot, contacts legislators and lobbyists had and what sort of gifts. Now, all of us like some free things. You know, most people believe when you're elected, however, to represent the people, that's a different story. That folks who are elected to make decisions about the law shouldn't be influenced by some sort of gifts that you might be giving them or they might be taking from, from uh, lobbyists. So we went out on the street and decided to ask folks what they think about this idea to lift the ban on gifts for lawmakers. That's not good. I don't think it's a good idea. I think that their salary should should say it all. If they're just giving something, I mean, it's not like they're accepting a bribe. I think uh, there's conflict of interest once they start getting gifts. Where do you draw the line? This bill has been referred to the Committee on Rules, Calendar and Operations. In, in legislative terms in Raleigh, that usually means that the bill has been sent to the circular file and it's going nowhere. So not much to worry about there. But if you don't, uh, if, you, if you'd like to let the representative know exactly how you feel about this bill and what it would do for your community, you can write them or call them. It's all right there. And all the information about the representative and his bill are right there. And that is tonight's Reality Check.